I, I, I'm just trying to tell you that she's not only healthy, but happy. We're trying really hard to give her the sense of, of a real family. If you think Todd thinks that for a minute, then you are out of your mind. I know Todd better than you ever will. All you will ever be is hired help. He hired you to help him keep my baby. What you are is her Latina nanny. And one day when Star is playing, she will hear, Mira, Mira. And then and only then will she, well, maybe remember you. Blair, just stop it, okay? Stop because it. you're going to have another stroke. I am not going to stop it. That little girl is my daughter. She should be with me, her real mother. You helped Todd take her away from me. You let him marry you so you could help him keep her away from me. Well, let me tell you something. You will never, ever be my little girl's mommy. Do you understand? God. Where? Oh, Todd! Todd, come down, quickly! I told you I'm clean now. Told is that um, oh. her legs gave way and she collapsed. Are my legs paralyzed? No, your atrophy muscles went into spasm God. because you've been working them too hard. Wait, 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 what, what are you giving me? Oh, it's all right, Mrs. Manning, I'm a doctor. This is a muscle relaxant, which will also oh. ease the pain. How are you doing, huh? Oh, I'm just peachy, Todd. My legs feel like they're all twisted up and on fire. Blair, can you drink this? Here, yeah, drink some water, come on. I want it. I would like to know what happened here. Blair, you were fine when you left the house, and now look at you. Oh. Todd? Don't look at me, I was upstairs. Um, Blair lost her balance. Uh, her legs gave out, and, and she fell. I talked to Dr. Gold. He said you left rehab last week against his wishes, that you were not ready and don't don't try and tell me that you were. Look at you. Two minutes with this pair. And you club up relapse. Oh, honey, Dr. Cole says you have to get back to Philadelphia no. right away no. and continue your rehabilitation. No, These I... These men will take you. I am not going back, all right? My little girl is here. I'm staying here. You are no good to her if you're not well. That is your priority. Finish rehab. It isn't... Gentlemen... Philadelphia. Wait. I, I know you want to say goodbye to Star. I'll, I'll bring her down. Uh. You've had your license to, to, to jump through the heart to get through the... Stretch you down a hallway without bumping in and stuff. Blair shouldn't have checked herself out of rehab so soon. Well, I'm sorry, but she brought this on herself. Well, the good news is that uh, that the EMS didn't think it was critical, so you know she'll probably get over this setback in no time. What exactly? Happened here? Excuse me? What did you do to Claire? Not a thing. She got hysterical and she, she came in here, she was okay. They took her out on a stretcher. Now we both know that wasn't an accident. What I'm asking is what did you do to provoke her? I, I didn't do anything. Wait, and where did you get... You know, the last time I left you two together, you took about 20 seconds to get her to collapse. She brought it on herself, same as tonight. This time, I leave you alone for two minutes. I come back downstairs to take her out on a stretcher. I didn't do anything to Blair. Look, for the record, apart from the fact that she is our opponent in your custody hearing, I don't harbor any ill will toward her. I'd like to know what would happen if you did. Look, I was the one who told you to reconcile with her. Never mind that. Here are the facts, Todd. She checked herself out of the hospital way before she was ready. She came on to Landview, started hightailing it back from one place to another, and she collapsed. Summation, she did too much, too
too soon. Defense, rest. Now look, if you're concerned about the health of the mother of your child, that's fine. Commendable even, but don't take your fear and your anxiety and turn them against me, okay? You are paying me to secure permanent legal custody of your child and to give you the best legal advice I can give you. Don't treat me as your adversary, okay? Remember, I am the best friend you have got. Yikes. Hey, don't knock it, pal, okay? And don't point your paranoia in my direction, because I am not your emotional punching bag. Hey! Hey! Are you getting this? People come over to our house all the time. It's a fun house. I thought that all the money that I was paying you would buy me a little leeway. Look, nobody's ever accused me of being all sweetness and light. That's what you're trying to pass off as an apology? That would depend. On what? Whether or not it worked. It didn't. Then it wasn't an apology. Look, I was real clear about how I expect you to treat me. Well, sorry, Your Majesty. Look, I don't care how you behave with anybody else. But if you spook me, I am out of here. Deal or no deal. Oh, well, it's a good thing you don't spook easily. Well, even I have my limits. I am not fooling around, Todd. By the way, Blair's problems are good news for your case. Good news? Yes. It strengthens our position that she's not strong enough to take responsibility of Star. And it buys us some time until her next custody case. And you know there will be a next one. I'll leave it to you. Put a positive spin on Blair's pain and suffering. That is my job. Unless you want to reconcile with Blair. That would solve everything. <clears throat> that ain't gonna happen, Pollyanna. The best thing that's going to happen with us is we'll reach some kind of a friendly truce. But I would never turn my back on her. So you hired her to work two inches away from you? You know what they say. You keep your friends close. Except I don't have any friends. And you keep your enemies closer. If I had my way, I'd hire the whole town. <laughs> 